translation, translation book. So we'll have to read all of them so that you'll have an idea kung ano yung mga words na gagamitin natin sa grammar part, which is honsatsu. This is the other book, the grammar book. Okay, so yes, ready na ba? Or my questions po ba kayo before we start? No questions? Okay, so let's start. Um, first, I'll be reading the words in Japanese and then I'll be giving the translation, but you can also see the, the translation on the right hand side. Okay, and then sa sarili nyo, if you could repeat para rin ma, ano nyo, ma practice nyo how to say the word. And then if you could also take note, then that's better. But anyway, after this class, I'll be sending you um, screenshots. And as I can see here, si Sir Alo or Ma'am Alo is also taking or recording the, the class. So yeah, you may just review it later. So let's start. First is lesson one. Um, this is more on introduction muna and getting to know. So the first word is watashi. Watashi, which means I. Okay. If you want to pluralize it, uh, if you want to say we, then it becomes watashi tachi. Watashi tachi. And then you is anata. Anata. Okay. And then if you want to say that person, anohito. Anohito. Well, that's the more casual uh, way of saying it. If you want to be more polite or let's say uh, you want to know how to say it in a more polite expression, then you change hito, because hito means person, into kata. Ano kata? So this is the kanji for kata. Ano kata? Ano kata? Okay. Uh, sino pong hindi nakamute? May hindi ba nakamute sa atin? Ma'am Sir Vikraman? Um, sorry, uh, is there anyone here who doesn't speak Tagalog? May I know if there's anyone in this group that doesn't speak Tagalog? I know if there's anyone here who doesn't speak Tagalog. Kasi baka may foreigner tayo tapos nagtatagalog ako. So Yes, no one is um no one is a foreigner here. Para play na lang po sa group chat or can you chat? Okay, Sir Alo, uh, where are you from, po? Mexico. Oh, I see. So. Yeah, we have one from Mexico and our sensei, um, the guy with the penguin profile is actually uh, a native speaker, a Japanese native speaker. He'll be joining us today. So, okay, we have someone from India. Okay, so guys, please understand we'll have to use English all throughout this class. Uh, we have some... Uh, foreigner friends or foreign friends from Japan, Mexico, and India. Okay, so as much as possible, please chat in English. Okay? 
So yes, uh, let's proceed then if you don't have anything. Okay, okay, all right, good. So let's continue. Um, let's go to the next word, minasan. Minasan, okay. So minas minasan means ladies and gentlemen, or uh, you know, uh, mina means everyone. So okay, yes, well. So minasan means everyone. This is usually used uh, when, let's say, uh, starting uh, a speech or something. So we say minasan konnichiwa. Okay, so minasan. And then we have san. This is uh, used for respect, added to the name of a per of the of the person. It means Mr. or Miss. And then chan is a suffix often added to a child's name or can be for uh, a girl. For example, uh, yeah, my name is Eileen. So some Japanese would call me Eileen chan. Eileen chan, genki desu ka? Okay, so chan is used for kids, child's. Uh, uh, added to a, a child's name or to a girl's name. Okay, on the other hand, kun is used or is added to a boy's name. So, for example, momokun. Okay, momokun. Kun. So, these are suffixes for people, including jin. So, for jin, this is not. Uh, something you add after the name of a person, but instead we add this to, let's say, uh, a country name like America to convert that word into or from, from the country name to nationality. So, for example, America Jean. Okay, America Jean means American. Uh, or let's say, watashi wa Philippine jin desu. Okay. And then, um, Sir Vikraman. Okay, so Vikraman san wa Indo jin desu. Okay. And then, Momo san or Momo kun wa. Nihon Jin desu. Okay, so Nihon Jin, this is the Roma Ji. Nihon Jin. America Jin. Indo Jin. Momo! Can you type for Mexican? Mexico Jean. Okay, Mexico. So that's for Mexico. Okay. So for Sir Alo, it's Mexico Jean. Watashi wa Mexico karakimashita or Watashi wa Mexico Jin. So I'm a Mexican. Okay. Question so far. Philippine Jin. Yes, exactly, Ma'am Rain. Philippine Jin for Filipino. Okay. So there, that's for Jin. Um, but again, if you want to be more polite, it becomes Kata. Uh, but in this case, for nationality, um, Momo, can we say Filipino Kata? Momo san. Hi, Kikoyama. Ah, Philippine no kata desu. Hi. 
So yeah, we can also say Filipino kata. This is more polite. Yes. Version of Philippine gin. Yes. Uh, Mexico gin. Mexico no kata des. Yes. Okay. Domo. Yeah. Okay. Questions, guys. Any questions about what we've just talked about? None so far. Ibig sabihin yan. Um, this means your nationality, ma'am girly. So, for example, watashi, watashi wa Philippine jin desu. So, this means. I am a Filipino. Watashi wa Indo jin or Indo no kata des. Indo no kata des. Then that is more polite. It's the same. I am an Indian or I am Indian. I am Indian in a more polite way. Okay? All right. So, let's continue. Let's go to the next vocabulary. Okay. I guess everyone is quite familiar with this word. Sensei. Sensei. Okay. So, sensei means teacher. This is the word that you attach to someone's name or to call someone or to call your teacher. So, sensei, sumimasen. Shitsumon ga Okay? So, let me type that. Okay, so, Shitsumon. Shitsumon garimas. This means teacher. Excuse me. I have a question. Okay, we have a question from Mom Rain. Well, when we say sensei, it means teacher. And when we say senpai, it's someone who is, let's say, a year older, especially in school. So let's say school or at work. So if the person has been working in that company like longer than you, then that can be your senpai. Or let's say you are a sophomore, meaning a second year college student. And then uh, you call someone who is on a higher year or someone who's older than you, your senpai. Let's say a junior or a senior. Well, those people are your senpais. So sensei means teacher. Senpai means... Your senior at school or at work. Okay. Clear so far, Mam Rain? I mean, was I able to answer your question? Hi, okay. So, yeah, I can see three people typing. Uh, you can just send a message. We'll be able to check that anyway. So, yeah, let's continue. Mm, so, that's for sensei. But if you're talking about the profession or the job itself, we say kyoshi. 
When I watch Japanese drama, I also hear sensei. Yes, that is correct, Mam Leia. So sensei can also be used to refer to a doctor. Um, if you want to like, or if you want to say doctor as a profession, we say isha. So let me type it. Doctor in Japanese means isha. However, if you're talking to the doctor himself, you don't say uh, samimasen, isha. No, we say sensei. We call them sensei as well. Sensei. Okay. So very good point, Ma'am Leia. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, any more questions? Teacher, another word also is there in Japanese, sensei? Um, another word for teacher, yes, there is. That would be this word, kyoshi. Kyoshi. Okay, so sensei, kyoshi. Okay, all right. Um, so let's ask for an example. Uh, Momo kun, can you give us an example using both sensei and kyoshi? Oh, yeah, sensei and kyoshi. Hi, onegaishimas. Example. Hi, sentence. Watashi wa kyoshi desu. Okay. But uh, we don't say watashi wa sensei desu. Okay. All right. Very clear. So basically, um, sensei is how you refer to the person. But when you talk about your job, it's referred to as kyoshi. Is that right? Uh, yes. Uh, and I'd like to add uh, mm -hmm. some information. Uh, sensei is a kind of sonkei word. Okay. Can you explain sonke word? I don't know the English. Sonke. Uh, just a moment. I forgot my grammar. Sonke. Respect. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. It's like sun, right? It's a a a word that we use to address. Another person with respect, especially mm -hmm. with regard to their position mm -hmm. or their job. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Therefore, uh, we don't say "watashi wa sensei desu." Mm -hmm. Always, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I shouldn't use "sonkei" um, word to me. Yes, that is correct. Um, similarly, when we say, for example, "watashi wa airin san desu," no, we don't say that. Because yeah. sun is also a word used to to mean respect. So we don't respect ourselves uh, ourselves when it comes to, let's say, yeah, the words that we use. So we do not say watashi wa sensei desu. We don't say watashi wa airin san desu. Okay, we only use it to the other person. Yes. Ah, and uh, okay. kata is also one of sonkei words. Okay. Therefore, uh, few people say watashi wa indo no kata desu. Sorry, could you say that could you say that again? Ah. Uh, few people say uh, watashi wa indo no kata desu. Because ah, okay. kata is one of sonkei words. I see. So we use it uh, to refer the other person. So, for example, Vikra Mansan wa Indo no kata desu, but ah, not yes, ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes. All right. Uh, thank you for explaining further. Mm -hmm. See you Momo soon. Hi. Domo. All right, guys. Any more questions before we continue? 
Good so far? I guess so. Okay, so let's proceed. All right, next is Gakuse. Gakuse means student. Okay, next is Kaishain. Kaishain. So, Kaishain means company employee. From the word Kaisha, Kaisha means company. And in is a suffix that we use to mean employee. Okay. Next is uh, Shine. Shine. Well, the difference between shine and kai shine, we use shine to add it with the name of the company. Okay. So, for example, watashi wa kai shine desu. Okay. That means, um, hi, I'm a, or I am a company employee. But then if I say, watashi wa Samsung, Samsung no, Shine this. So I am an employee of Samsung. Or in the example we have here, I am a Shino Shine. I am Sino Shine. Okay. Next word is Ginkoin. Ginkoin. Okay, so in, again, there is, or it means employee. And ginko, ginko means bank. So this kanji. Ginko. Kyo, ginko ni ikimasu. Means today, I'll go to the bank. Kyo, ginko ni ikimasu. Okay. And then the next word. This was mentioned earlier, the word doctor. So we say isha. Isha. Okay. But if you talk to a doctor, you call them sensei. Sensei. As a song K word. All right. No questions. Moving on. Next is kenkyusha. 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 So this means researcher or scholar. So you will also be seeing this a lot. The suffix sha. Because this is usually or normally used with professions. Okay. Like isha. Kenkyusha. And then... Okay, for the word engineer, we don't really, like, have a translation in Japanese, but instead we are using katakana. So these are katakana. While the, the ones we were reading earlier, those are hiragana characters. So the, the main difference between hiragana and katakana Oh, sorry. Hiragana is for, like, Japanese words, mainly. And they have, uh, like, curvy, curvy structure as compared to katakana. For katakana characters... These are um, borrowed words. Karita, karita tango, or words that we borrowed from another language. So for the example earlier, engineer, that is a borrowed word from English. So it's written in katakana. And for the structure or how the katakana characters are written, they're usually sharp. 
Okay, unlike uh, hiragana, they are curvy. So katakana are sharp. Okay, and also for names of people, especially foreigners uh, like us, then they're usually written in katakana. In my case, okay, just a moment. I'll type my name in hiraga, no, in katakana. Ah, domo. Thank you, Momo. So there. My name is written, written in katakana because it's a borrowed word. Uh, it's, it's not original to Japanese. And then some people, some Japanese people, their names are written in, in hiragana. Okay. So yes, uh, Vikraman, Vikura, Vikuramu. Okay. Very good. So that's how your name is written in katakana. Who else know how to write their names in katakana? Who else among you guys can write their names in katakana? Okay, re, rain rays. Sorry, that is re, <laughs> rain rays. Is that your name? Rain rays? Mom, rain, rain rays. And then, okay. Cesar, Cesar. Sir CJ, is that correct? Cesaru. Your name is Cesaru. And then Aro, Aron Dora. Oh, sounds cool. Aron Dora. Okay. And then Raini. <laughs> okay, I think uh, Raini, Raini. That's how you would spell it. Like, you know how you would spell your name but in Japanese when we write katakana we don't follow the spelling of your name but instead we follow the sound of your name because it's based on sound so rain mom rain's name should be uh, your name is pronounced as rain right rainu rainu Hi, okay. So rain, 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 okay, rain, yeah. So that's how you say it, rain. Mom, rain, please take note. That's how you would write your name. Okay, some people are typing. I'm curious. <laughs> so guys, yeah, any more questions? Questions so far? Unclear, anything unclear from what we've just discussed? None. Okay. Momoa, anything you'd like to add? Nope. Okay, all good. Moving on. Let's go to, yeah. All right, that's why we were talking about katakana. So this is pronounced as engineer. <laughs> it's so hard, engineer. Momo, can you say it? Can you hear me? Yep. Engineer. Okay. So, engineer. Yeah. 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 Domo. Yeah. 
All right. So there. That's how you say. This is uh, eh, n, and then g, nia. So uh, as I've mentioned, katakana is sound based. So we say engineer, engineer. Okay. And then um, next would be daigaku. Daigaku. So dai. Gaku, daigaku, means university. Okay. For example, nien mae nihon no daigaku de nihon go to nihon bunka wo manabimashita or benkyo shimashita. So let me type it in Romaji. So, ninen mae, this means two years ago. Two years ago, Nihon no daigaku. Nihon no daigaku means uh, Japanese university or a uh, university in Japan. De means like where. So I studied in. So in. It functions as in. So ninen mae nihon no daigaku de nihongo nihongo to nihon bunka. Wo. Okay, so nihon nihongo obviously or uh, as we know, means Japanese language. Japanese language. Nihongo. Oh, wait, what happened? Language. Okay. To means end. So, Nihongo to Nihon Bunka. Nihon bunka means Japanese culture. Japanese culture. Wo is like, uh, it's a particle that we use for, for something. Okay. Something or like the receiver of the action. So, particle. For words receiving the action. And then lastly, manabimashita or benkyo shimashita. Ben kyo shimashita means studied. Okay, so in this example, ninen mae nihon no daigaku de. Nihon go to Nihon bunka wo benkyo shimashita or manabimashita. Questions on this example? No questions. Okay. So yes. Um, momo onigai Could you type it in hiragana for me, so that I don't have to use my phone to type hiragana. Domo. Okay. Yeah, if you have questions, just type them in. I'll be reading them afterwards. Okay, so there. That's the example we have for daigaku. Nihon no daigaku. 
ピリピンの大学。はい。There was a message? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. And then the next word is denki. Denki means, either means electricity or light. Electricity or light. Thank you. So, guys, here's the hiragana form of what I just wrote here. If you guys are curious. Okay. All right. And moving on. Okay, dare. So, this is the question or interrogative word to mean who. Dare. Dare. It, it means who. And it's usually paired with deska. Dare deska. Dare deska. Okay. So. Dare deska means who are you? Who are you? And then, of course, we also have a more polite way to say that because Japanese people are known to be very respectful, polite. So they do have a lot of, you know, levels of politeness. And then a word, a more polite expression for dare deska would be donata. Donata. This is donata. Donata deska. So, for example, ano kata, ano kata, donata desu ka? Or ano kata wa donata desu ka? So, that's a more polite way of saying, ah, oh, what's the name of that person? Or that person, what's his name? What's the name? Of that person. Because ano, ano means that. Okay, or it's it's far from you. So we say ano kata. So that person. Uh, not what's the name, but who. Who is that person? Sorry. Who is that? Who is that person? Okay. If you want to say what's the person's name or what's that person's name, then you can say Ano katano? Ano katano namae wa? Nan deska? So, what's the name of that person? Okay. Oh, it's raining here in Baguio City. Where is everyone from? Where are you guys from in the Philippines or other countries? So, Baguio City. I'm from Baguio City. Oh, someone is calling us from Saudi, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Mamerilit. Baguio City. Anyone from Baguio? None. Cavite, Sir CJ is from Cavite. Cagayan de Oro. Ni Sundemas. Very good. So, Doko ni Sundemas ka? Minasan? Sa. Saudi, okay, Saudi, <laughs> and then Bagiwo, very good, thank you, Momo. Kabite, 
Okay, so there are the katakanas for your hometowns or for your for where you live in. Chennai ni sundeimas. All right, Chennai. Chennai is in India. Yes, okay. And then what's that? Kagayan de oro. De oro. Okay. Any more? Where else are you from, guys? Chennai. Okay. Manira. Okay. Manira. Pasik ni sundeimas. Okay. So that's how, that's the katakana for Manila. And then for Pasig, Pasig, we say Pasig. Oh, Sir Romeo is from Nueva Ecija. I'm originally from Nueva Ecija. Nueva Ecija. Okay, that's how you pronounce it. Nueva, Nueva Ecija. Okay. Okay, all done. Okay, so no one is from Baguio. That's sad. <laughs> okay. No uh no questions so far. Any questions? Oh, someone just joined fifteen from fourteen to fifteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you just if, if you have questions or anything, just type just type them. No worries. I'll read them later. Okay, nonsense. Okay. Uh, moving on, let's go to Sai. Okay, Sai means age years old. So if you wanna ask someone's age, we say uh, nan sai desu ka? Nan sai desu ka? So, nan there is what? Sai is age. Um, and then desu ka is just, you know, something that we add to complete the sentence. And also can mean respect. So, if you just say nan sai, it's very casual. So, adding desu ka makes it polite. Nan sai desu ka? Thank you. Uh, for typing the hiragana version, okay. So nan sai desu ka? Mm, okay. Momo kun nan sai desu ka? Watashi wa sanjuyon sai desu. Ah, sanjuyon sai. Okay. What is sanjuyon sai, guys? Sanjuyon sai. What is Sanju Yonsai? Sanju Yon. Okay, very good. So Sanju means 30. So San is 3. Ju is 10. So when you put them together, Sanju means 30. Yon means 4. Sanju Yonsai is H. And then, watashi wa sanju yon sai desu. Watashi wa sanju yon sai desu. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you everyone. How about, let's see, let's get the names. How to check the names ba? <laughs> okay, uh... Okay. Mom Rain. Rain san. Nan sai desu ka? Hi, Rain san. Nan sai desu ka? If you don't mind answering. 
Or you can make up a, a number if you want. Okay, 28. Oh, Tame this. Tame. Tame this means same. We are uh, the same age. Is that right? <clears throat> tame, tame, tame desu. Same age. We are the same age. So, if you want to say 28, Watashi wa niju hassai. Hassai desu. Watashi wa niju hassai desu. So, ni is two, ju is ten, so niju, that means twenty. And then, eight is hachi, so eight is hachi. But in this case, because we have to, like, contract eight and then your age, it became hasai, hachi plus hachi, or age. <laughs> Then it becomes hasai. So, watashi wa niju hasai desu. CJ san wa, eto, niju san? Niju yon. Niju yon desu. Four is yon, sir CJ. Ah, okay, which one? <laughs> You're 23 or 24? I'm confused, sir CJ. And then, um, for our guest, I'm sorry, what's your name? Uh, I don't know how to, to call you. Your name is just showing as guest. What's your name, Bo? Watashi wa niju kyusai. Okay. Kyusai desu. So, what's niju kyusai? Everyone, what's niju kyusai? Okay, so Sir CJ has finally decided that he's 23. Dakara niju san sai desu. That's correct. Niju san. Niju san sai desu. Okay. Sir Vikramu, watashi wa sanju desu. Uh, 30 means sanju. But you have to, f uh, don't forget to say. Watashi wa sanju sai desu. And yes, the pronunciation is wa. But then when it comes to typing, I mean when it comes to typing it in hiragana, we say ha. We use ha, not wa. Watashi wa. Watashi ha. Sanju sai desu. Okay, so yeah. Ju, uh, they type it with double, double, not double, but two, two U's because in hiragana, if, if you type it, it's like this. Uh, just a moment. Ju. So ju, that's why when you type it in Roma G, it also becomes like this. Ju to make it longer. Hi, Leia san. Yeah, it's okay. Taijubu des. Uh, you can just maybe backtrack to check on the chat box or Sir Allo is recording. So you can also watch the recording later if you were not able or if you missed a lot of things. Ah, okay. Your name is Leia. Ah, okay. Sorry about that. So, Leia. Okay. Alright. Um, everything clear so far? Any questions? Do you want to ask how to say your age in Japanese? Hi, Sensei. Wakarimashita. Okay, cool.
Okay, three people are typing. Let's see what those are. Okay, while waiting for the three people typing, um, just want to add that there is another way to ask your age. Um, Nansai Deska is, uh, yeah, a bit casual, even though there is Deska after that. So a more polite way to ask for age is Oikutsu Deska. Oikutsu Deska. Oikutsu Hatsuka. Ah, okay. For 20, we say Nijusai. Nijusai. Hatsuka is used for, uh, let's say, counting and for the date. Servikramu. For age, when you want to say your age, you just say niju, niju sai desu. Okay, and then, yeah, oikutsu. Oikutsu desu ka means how old are you? How old are you? When I was studying in Japan, my teachers would ask me oikutsu. They won't ask me nansai. So most likely you'll be asked or, you know, uh, people would be asking you oikutsu desu ka instead of nansai. So better know this expression. However, I guess it's, it's not very common to ask someone's age in Japan, especially for women, because it's kind of, a, I would say, rude or sensitive to ask for someone's age. Especially for women. But, you know, it's just good to know. Oikutsu desu ka? Okay, watashi wa yo, yoji. Yoji sansai desu. Yoji? You mean... Yo, when you say yoji, that means time. That's 4 p.m. or 4 a.m. So, you mean yonju? Watashi wa yonju sansai desu. Okay, yeah. Yonju sansai desu. Thank you, Momo, for typing. Sir Romeo, so it's not yoji sansai, but yonju. Yonju sansai desu. And then, Mom Leia, can you recommend any application for keyboard sensei that has katakana on it? Because the one I'm using is only hiragana keyboard. Um, well, it's not an application that I use, but it's actually the keyboard itself of, of my phone. Um, Mom, Leia, are you using Android or iPhone? Because I'm using iPhone. And for iPhone, you can just add keyboard. So, uh, Android, not quite familiar with Android, but as far as I know, you can also add keyboard, add a Japanese keyboard to your Android phone. Um, try to go to your settings and then keyboard. So that should, uh, that should give you the option to add katakana. If not, because yeah, I'm not sure if, you know, uh, same with, uh, I mean, iPhones and Androids are the same in that, in that sense. You can just try downloading, just a moment. Because I do download a lot of apps for Japanese learning as well. Katakana keyboard. Uh, katakana table keyboard. Yeah, the only one that I found here is katakana table keyboard. So you might want to try. Try that, ma'am. I'm not sure if that will work for Android. So, 
I'll just send the picture or a screenshot. There. Okay. And then Romeo San said Watashiwa Yo Yon Yonji San said this. Okay. So here's Sir Romeo. You can just copy this for your reference. Yonju. Yonju san sai des. So that's for Sir Romeo. So guys, um our one hour class is over. Um if you have questions, feel free to ask me now. So let's have maybe five minutes to answer your questions. And then with regard to the lesson, um, so hopefully next week we'll be continuing what we've started. So we'll be continuing this and then the grammar part next week, either Saturday or Sunday. I, I still have to decide on, on that. So guys, any questions? Any, any questions? So, yeah, please ask your questions now before we eat our lunch because <laughs> it's already 12 noon in Japan. So our Japanese native speaker is probably hungry now. And then it's already 11 in the Philippines. <laughs> what time is it now in, in what, what's that city again? Chennai? Chennai. Chennai, India. What time is it there now? And then in Mexico, sir or ma'am Alo, sir, maybe. Uh, what time is it there? And then in Saudi. We have one from Saudi. What time is it there now? 8.30 in India. Okay, so it's breakfast time. Brekkie time for Vic, uh, Sir Vikram. Oh, and it's, yeah, it's time to sleep for Sir Alo. What is the best thing to do to learn Japanese for beginner? Is it writing katakana, hiragana? Well, ma'am, Merilitz, the first thing you have to really learn is hiragana. That's the most basic. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, alo. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it's a ma'am or sir, but yes, ma'am, alo. Okay, so it's nighttime in Mexico. And then, ma'am, Merilitz, yeah, as I was saying, hiragana. You have to study hiragana first. And then, katakana. After that... You can start learning vocabulary, 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 like what we're doing before we get ourselves into grammar, basic grammar. So next meeting, what we'll be doing uh, would be uh, we will continue the vocabulary on lesson one. Anyway, we only have a few. So from oikutsu, this is oikutsu up to the different uh, nationalities. After that, we'll discuss grammar, maybe uh, a little in English, and then I'll show you the grammar explanation and examples in Japanese. So as you can see, there are hiraganas and katakanas. So it's best, Mam Merilitz, that you learn basic writing as your first step in learning Japanese. So we'll also have some activities next time or next meeting to apply what we have learned, okay? All right, and then what else? What are your other questions? Oh yes, thank you, Mam Rain. Is that the keyboard? Keyboard, uh, Japanese keyboard. 
Mam Rain. Oh yeah, it is the Japanese keyboard. Um, the twelve keys Japanese keyboard. To be honest, that's well, that's quite hard for me to use because I, I can't memorize like which swipe to use left or right. So I prefer the QWERTY, QWERTY keyboard. Okay, and then how about this, ma'am? I know what the the keyboard. Ah, uh, yes, Ma'am Rain, uh, as I've mentioned, QWERTY, I prefer QWERTY over 12 keys. It's difficult to use 12 keys. Para siyang, uh, it's like uh, typing using a Nokia, Nokia bar phone, wherein you have to, you know, memorize the sequence of, of the letters. But you can try downloading both, Ma'am, um, so that you can also... Get yourself familiar with the 12 keys if you want to. Uh, okay, so it's Mam Merilitz who's from Saudi. So it's 6 a.m. in the morning there. Wow, good morning, ma'am. It's time for you to eat breakfast then. And then, Watashi wa Yonju Sansai desu. Yes, very good, Sir Romeo. I'm using QWERTY. Yes, ma'am, Rain, you can start with QWERTY. And then once you're used to that, you may change it to 12, what's that? 12 keys. Sure, Ma'am Merilitz. Watashi wa kudamo, kudamo wo tabemasu. Ah, okay, you mean kodamo no? Um, Vikramu-san? Kudamo no means fruit. Okay, yes. So, kudamo no. This is the kanji, kudamono, and this is the hiragana, kudamono. Okay, and then the pronunciation is good, but when you write it, it will be watashi wa kudamono wo tabemasu. Okay, thank you for that, Momo. Wakarimashita sensei. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, no worries, Leia. And then, yes, Domo arigato gozaimasu, sen, ah, gozaimasu, sensei. Ah, uh, no worries, Sir CJ, I'm Leia. So, yes, any more questions, guys? So, guys, if you want to add more people in this group, you may do so. We'll be using the same Skype group for the next, or for our succeeding classes. You can add people or you can share our, what's that, Skype group link so that we can have more people in the group practice Japanese with us. Yeah, no worries, Sir Romeo. And guys, uh, yeah, please promote our web, uh, our Facebook page as well at the English Hub PH for more following. So at the English Hub PH. Okay, so guys, uh, yes, uh, if you would also or if you're also interested in taking individual classes, you may check our page at the English Hub PH for the rates. But for now, I'm, I'm going to continue this free class uh, every weekend. Sorry, because I also have my full-time job, so I cannot do it, you know, more frequently than once a week. So, guys, uh, yes, thank you for your time today. If you have questions, you can just send it to our group chat. I'll check them and answer as soon as I can. So guys, uh, yeah, we can, uh, or let's conclude our lesson today. So, koko made, minasan, kyo wa arigato gozaimashita. So, yeah.
Okay, so guys, yes, it's only until here. Thank you for your time. See you next week. Mata raishu!